Hi there. Welcome to Selenium Training from uh, TrainingRight.com. Uh, today we'll be talking about the pitfalls of uh, IDE recording and play. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate to you um, how IDE uh, will not record things the way you want it to record and how you're going to be going in and tweaking it. Uh, as an example, we'll be taking a site, um, any site, let's say a travel management site like uh, uh, Travelocity.com. So I'm going to open up my uh, Firefox. As you can see, we are at the home page of Travelocity.com. Um, you could be doing many different things in here. You could be uh, booking your vacation packages. You could be booking your flights, your hotels, your car, uh, cruises, and whatnot. Um, we can take any functionality. I'm going to be focusing on the flights for now, and um, I'm going to quickly walk you through as uh, uh, the uh, scenario uh, we will be testing. So basically, I'm going to be clicking on the flights uh, tab in here, and uh, this page is going to pop up. And uh, here, I'm going to go and then uh, type. Um, let's say uh, we're booking a flight for so from uh, an airport to another airport. So let's say I select. Uh, um jfk airport so i type jfk um now notice uh this ajax popping up um so you have now i mean usually people would be going and then selecting what you have in here right um so you have the option of uh, selecting that or you could just move on from jfk and then move to the to the other one so let's see what happens when you go and then select this um ajax uh, pop-up uh will uh, my IDE is going to record um, or not. Uh, we, we're going to be looking into that when we start the recording, but I want you to pay attention to the fact that this uh, Ajax thing is going to pop up describing you the, uh, the, the airport we are booking uh, our flights from. So, okay, here is my JFK. As soon as I select that, it's still going to put the JFK as the code, not uh, necessarily the description or the long text for the JFK. Anyway, we're going to be going from JFK to, let's say, Los Angeles. Uh, so I'm going to type LOS, and then as you see, it's going to bring up uh, my choices. And uh, I'm going to be selecting the Los Angeles airport. All right. Um, then I'm going to go in here. This is my calendar. So I'm going to click here and then um, choose a date. Let's say I'm going for the next um, weekend. Um, let's say I'm flying out on October 14th. Um, and uh, I don't care about the time, so the, the return part is um, I'm going to be staying there over the weekend. So the return part is I'm going to be coming back on uh, Sunday, so which is uh, October 16th. Um, I want you to notice the fact that the calendar did pop up and then we selected that. And then I'm going to do a search and basically it's going to uh, search for the different um, uh, airlines and finally going to give you, um, you know, the best possible fare. And... Um, uh, the best possible fare between uh, JFK and Los Angeles after the search is going to uh, pop up here, as you can see. Um, this is going to be $328 uh, flights starting at. Uh, now, uh, notice that depending on our selection, in this case, we have selected JFK, and uh, from JFK, we are going to Los Angeles. Uh, so the total happens to be 328 so you do understand that this is going to be dyna um, dynamic, meaning that it's going to be changing different, um, you know, uh, times based on our selection. So um, in order to make sure that this page did show up, um, we could be checking for any particular text, uh, which is kind of like a static text for now. So which is, um, let's say, flight starting it. So I would be, you know, searching for this text. If this text is there, then I know that we have reached to this page. I could also uh, be uh, going and looking for something which is kind of like static on this page. If I go for dynamic, um, then uh, based on my data, this could be changing. Um, okay, we, we, we're going to be talking about that. So this is basically the scenario. The scenario is uh, you're going to be going to Travelocity.com as the main, main page, and uh, from there, you're going to be clicking on flights, and then... You'll be making your selections. You'll be selecting the dates from the calendar and then doing a search. And then you go to the next page and then it pops up. It gives you basically the amount uh, 
uh, the uh, most uh, cost effective uh, uh, flight which we have along with the other choices I guess all right now um, now that we have the idea of the scenario let's go and record this and then uh, see if we could play it back um, so let's start to record now I guess uh, you have the understanding that um, um, on a Firefox you could you could do the recording if you download a tool called selenium IDE and selenium IDE is uh, the record and play tool which you could download from uh, selenium hq.org if you go to that site you have um, um, basically different software which you could download and you would be downloading this basically what it, it does it's, it's like a plugin which gets uh, uh, installed over Firefox um, I'm gonna be showing you in a different video as how to do that um, now make believe that you have selenium IDE sitting here so let's uh, start the recording so I'm gonna bring it up uh, and this is gonna open up uh, my um ide tool and uh in here we'll be doing the recording um as you can see uh this says that uh, now the recording uh it has started so let's go and then record now in order to make sure that we could see both the screens i'm gonna just uh um make some space in here so that you could uh see both the screens okay uh let's begin our uh, recording so basically what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start from the beginning. So I'm going to be, let's say, on the home page. Uh, from the home page, I'm going to be going to uh, the uh, flights. So I'm going to click uh, on flight tab and I'm going to come in here. I'm going to do exactly the way I have done in, the, um, in, in my scenario, uh, which I have presented, meaning that I'm going to be doing JFK. And as I do JFK, this thing is going to pop up. And then, you know, as any regular user would do, yes, this is the choice. So I'm going to be selecting that. All right. Um, now, I want you to keep an eye on what is being, you know, recorded in here. So um, as I have done in here, as I was typing that, uh, it did record a few things in here. So while I do it in the two portion of it, I want you to keep an eye here to see what is getting recorded. So I did come here to the two part and in the two part we have to put in uh, Los Angeles. So I'm going to type LOS and then as you can see this is dropping down and this is giving you the choices and um, as anybody would be doing I'm going to be selecting my choice which happens to be the Los Angeles International Airport. Okay I've done that and then it did something in here. It is putting something called ID equals active menu item uh, blah blah blah. Alrighty. Uh, now I'm going to go to the depart portion of it, which is the calendar. I'm going to click on that and the calendar is going to pop up. And on the calendar, I have to go and I have to select, as we discussed, that I'll be flying out on, uh, let's say, October 14th, uh, which is a Friday. So I'm going to be clicking on that. Uh, don't care about the time. So the return is, uh, uh, let's say I'm going to be staying over the weekends so or coming back on Sunday, which is 16. So I'm going to select that. And... Uh, and I am going to uh, click on search flights. All right. So when I click on search flights, um, uh, it is um, going to be thinking. Uh, it's going to be doing search, and finally, it gives me uh, it gives me the choices. Uh, in fact, in, uh, as you can see here, the bunch of choices in here. But we were focusing on this area, so I have three hundred twenty-eight dollars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test for this text. Uh, make sure that if this text is present. Right. That means that, OK, I have reached to the next page. All right. To do that, I'm going to highlight it and uh, right click on that and then um, say that. OK, verify text present um, starting at. Right. So, all right. I'm going to do that. And then, as you see, it did put something in here. OK, let's uh, close our stop our recording. So I stop my recording. All right. OK. Um, IDE uh, being an intelligent tool, it had recorded few things. So you hope um, uh, that, OK, whatever it has done, uh, it should just run fine now when you do a run. Right. And that's what we'll be doing. And then looking into the pitfalls of the default way of uh, IDE recording your actions on a Firefox browser. And then we, we're going to be discussing uh, as how you would be fixing it. All right. So let's prove ourselves that IDE recording uh, by default uh, is just not going to work. All right. Let's see how how it happens. I mean, in certain cases, it's not going to work like what we are discussing here uh, because th there were 
things like Ajax going on in here. There were calendar uh, pop-ups and all that. If it is a simple application where you, you are just entering some data into text boxes, um, then it's it's not going to be an issue. It's just going to be uh, working fine. Anyway, let's see uh, if it fails and if it fails, uh, where it fails and why it fails. All right. So I'm going to run this application. Um, Okay, as you can notice on the right hand side, it did went to the main page. Uh, from there, it is going to click. Um, and I want you to watch this color. As there's a yellow color here, that means that that particular line is getting executed. Um, there we go. Uh, right here, we have an issue. Uh, so the default way of uh, recording and playing in IDE, Selenium IDE, did not work, right? Um, okay. So what was the problem? The problem was this pink line. Um, basically, uh, it's failing. That my test case is failing here. So what is it saying? Uh, if you read uh, out here, it says that uh, um, error element ID equals UI dash active dash menu item not found. All right, and it stops here. Well, uh, so we prove a point that. Uh, um, you just cannot be recording in IDE and then expect it to play back and then everything is going to be dandy. Everything is going to be working fine. Uh, as we prove ourselves, that's not the case. Okay. How are we going to fix this problem? All right. Um, to fix this problem, uh, we have to, um, make use of what is called